Hi, today I'm going to read Lost and Found by Kate Banks and Galia Bernstein. The wood mouse and the rabbit raced around the big bend in the forest. What's that? said the wood mouse, stopping short in her tracks. On a moss-covered mound lay a rag doll. The rabbit moved closer to the doll and sniffed. He knew the fresh, sweet fragrance of the forest after the rain and the scent of wild honeysuckle floating on the breeze. But the rabbit didn't know this smell. The otter poked her head out of her burrow. She placed a paw on the rag doll's hair. What is it? the otter asked. She knew the feel of the rough, ragged tree roots and the soft, silky heads of the pussy willows by the river but she didn't know this. The other forest animals gathered around for a look. Mm, it doesn't have a tail, said the hedgehog. Or a wet nose, said the white-tailed deer. And it doesn't like nuts, said the squirrel. Along came the beaver, who knew the sound of the water washing over the dam and the whine of a wayward wind. What's that, he asked, when he spotted the rag doll. We don't know, replied the rabbit. I don't know either, said the beaver, but I do know what those are. The beaver pointed to a patch of footprints leading away from the doll. Let's follow them, he said. The animals wove in and out of the shady glade and under a canopy of oak trees. They kept going until they came to a meadow. They had never been out of the forest before, and it was a little frightening, but they were curious. Before them was a wide stretch of gray. What's that? asked the squirrel. The animals knew the forest trails, thickly carpeted with leaves and the rounded path of the moon across the sky, but they had never seen a road. They cautiously crossed it. On the other side was a house. What's that? asked the wood mouse. The animals had seen the eagle's matted nest and the den of the hibernating bear, but they had never seen a home like this. Suddenly, the door of the house flew open and a child ran into the yard. The child looked familiar. It had brownish hair and dark eyes, and it had floppy arms and legs. It was wrapped in soft colored cloth. Is that it? said the wood mouse. Maybe, said the rabbit. I think so, said the squirrel. Without a doubt, cried the beaver. When the child returned to the house, the animals tiptoed into the yard and placed the rag doll on the swing. Then they scurried back to the deep forest where they went about their business. But the next evening, when the moon appeared, the animals scampered to the edge of the forest again. Across the wide gray road in the window of the house shone a bright light. What's that? said the rabbit. It shines, but it's not a star, said the hedgehog. They crept across the yard and right up to the lit window. Inside, the child was curled up in bed with the rag doll reading a book. The child patted the doll's head and kissed its cheek. I know what that is, said the rabbit, who knew the warmth of his mother's soft fur. So do I, said the wood mouse, remembering the sound of her mother's heartbeat. Me too, said the otter, who thought of her brothers tucked tightly in their burrow. I remember, said the squirrel, imagining the gentle touch of his father's paw. Yes, said the hedgehog, who fondly recalled sharing a meal with a friend. I know too, said the beaver, looking at his dear companions while the white-tailed deer smiled in agreement. They had never seen a rag doll, a road, a house, a child, or a lit window, but they all knew what love was.